So how do we make our loops that we bring in match the tempo of our project and fit within the project grid? The way we do it, the way I like to do it, is with the time stretch tool, which uh, you'll see if you press Alt, the uh, trim tool changes into the time stretch tool. So you can see that hand, the hand is what we want. Now have a listen to this little loop. Three, four, two, two, three, four. That's a two bar loop. A two bar loop should finish at the end of the third bar, or sorry, the end of the second bar, of course, uh, which would be at 3.1. Now, currently this loop goes a bit further than that. You might think to yourself, oh yeah, we'll just trim the edge back. But that hasn't really helped us because what if we were to copy that? Two, three, four, one, two, three. Well, hang on, what happened there? That doesn't help us. What we need to do is actually squeeze this audio so it fits into that two bars and therefore matches our grid. So having done that, you'll see it actually works. So check it out. Two, two, three, four, bar three, two, three, four, bar four. It's fitting there. All right, so basically I squeezed the audio so that it played at a rate of 1.25 its original value. I could then actually reduce my project tempo using the mouse wheel and figure out the original tempo of that loop was 80 beats per minute because now it's not playing uh, any differently from its original tempo. So I kind of glossed over exactly what I did there. Let's go back a step. Um, we had our original loop. We'll go back. There's our original loop. We've brought it in. We've ascertained that it's two bars of drums. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. That means we have to squish it so that it finishes at 3.1. And the way to do that is to hold Alt and just squeeze it in there. I've got the snap tool enabled, which just snapped it beautifully to 3.1. That way, um, if I want to copy it, Control C, Control V, or make use of Reaper's automatic looping feature by trimming to the right, and it'll just keep looping itself. You see the little divot there representing the loops? change my tempo to 80 and there you go that's a simple explanation of how to use the time stretch tool holding alt in reaper and hope that helps you